Oh, with lots of hair right under your chin is a beautiful. <laughs> there we go. All right, you fix that. I'll fix the top here. And let's, let's see. Whoa, so pretty. <laughs> uh, Katie, Katie, how old are you? Eight years old. Fantastic. Now you heard me give the instructions to Jada, so you know what's going to happen here. So if you're in love, you're like this. If you're crying, you're sleepy. Let's follow the story. Let's listen very carefully about Princess Katie. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess, and the princess was in love. She was in love with a handsome young prince. He was so much in love with her that he used to give her gifts every single day not just on her birthday. Do you know what her favorite gift of all was? It was a beautiful necklace that the handsome prince had made with his own hands. Ah. The prince spent months scouring the kingdom for the finest plastic beads from the best craft stores. And he presented it to her in the royal bag. The princess loved the necklace so much that every day she would take the necklace out of the royal bag and wear it all day long. Then at night, she would put the necklace back into the royal bag and put it right next to her bed so that when she woke up, she could put it right back on. But there was someone in the kingdom who did not want the princess to be happy. It was the wicked old witch. <laughs> you might have seen her before. She has green skin, a long, crooked nose with a big, hairy wart on it, long, disgustingly dirty fingernails, a pointy hat, and she rides a Nimbus 2000 that she borrowed from Harry Potter. One night, while the princess was asleep. The wicked old witch flew in through the window and stole the necklace. Then she flew out over the woods of the kingdom, took out a big rusty hacksaw and cut the string in the necklace. Then she scattered the beads all over the woods. To make matters worse, she took the empty string and put it right next to the sleeping princess. When the princess woke up, she noticed her necklace was gone. And she cried. But she was not only the most beautiful princess in all the land, she was also the wisest. So she drove to see the prince. When she arrived, she rang the doorbell. When the prince answered, he gave her a big kiss. After the princess slapped him, let's go see the world's greatest magician, Ryan Lear. <laughs> the princess knew that the world's greatest magician, Brian Lear, happened to live in the very next kingdom. So they took the prince's car this time. When they arrived, they knocked on the door of the world's greatest magician, Brian Lear. The guard answered the door and said, Who goes there? The princess said, We are here to see the world's greatest magician, Brian Lear. The guard answered, Nobody sees the world's greatest magician. Brian Lear. Not nobody, not know how. Then the princess said, But the wicked old witch stole my necklace. So the guard said, Why didn't you say that in the first place? Come on in. And they were led to a great hall. The princess asked the world's greatest magician, Brian Lear. If 
he could make the necklace come back. The magician said, no! But the people of the kingdom can. Yeah! So all of the people in the kingdom reached up into the air. <clears throat> all of the people in the kingdom reached up into the air. That's better. Then they grabbed some magic, pulled it down, and threw it into the royal bag. <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> Who threw that? I did. Now the magician gave the princess a magic wand. Then he reached for a wand of his own, but forgot to turn off the booby trap. <laughs> So he reached to turn it off, but accidentally set off the alarm. The people in the kingdom shouted the magic words, I brought you Jabra! Princess then reached into the royal bag. Uh, uh, let's try that again. The people in the kingdom shouted the magic words, I broke it! Yeah. Reached into the royal bag. <laughs> Oops, uh, I, I forgot. <laughs> Finally, the magician and the princess both tapped the bag three times. The people in the kingdom shouted the magic words. <laughs> the princess then reached into the royal bag to find her favorite necklace had magically returned. And the princess and the prince lived happily ever after. Let's hear